Hey what's going on developers, welcome back to the Sakura Dev channel and Drizzle ORM comprehensive course. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create one to many relationship between two tables with Drizzle ORM. So let's get right into it. Okay, we have two entities here, a user and post. A post belongs to just one user, but each user can have multiple posts. So this end letter here indicates that each user can have multiple posts. It means that a user can have zero posts or more. It can be one post, two posts and more. Okay, but it could be also zero. But each post always has a author, but it can't have multiple author. Just one user is the author of each post. So take a look at this example here. User one has three posts and each of its posts belongs to only itself. And user two, for example, has four posts. And again, each of its posts belongs only to itself. A post can belong to two users at the same time. So let's create this kind of relationship between our users table and the post table in action. Okay, I open up our project and go to the schema here okay and you can see we have already created the users table but we don't have the post table so let's quickly create the post table so here i'm going to say export const posts okay and set it to pg table function and choose a name inside our database for it i'm going to go ahead with the post and pass the object that defines our fields inside the table okay so we have an id which is going to be serial okay name it id inside our table and let's set it as the primary key of the table and then we have a text of the post and let's set it to varchar function and let's name it text okay and set its length to 256 characters okay so let's limit our maximum length of our post 256 characters and then we have the author id which is going to be our foreign key it is actually the user that creates this post so it is going to be integer since the user primary key is a serial which is actually is an integer so you can see here that the id of the user is set to serial function which makes the type of the id field inside the table an integer with auto increment behavior but we don't want the auto increment behavior inside our foreign key so we just go ahead with the integer function okay so let's name it author underscore id so now we have the post table and also the users table so let's cut the post table and put it side by side of the user so let's kind of put it after the user relations so we have already created the user relations for the user table that has a one-to-one -one relation with the profiles table so now we want to say that each user can have many posts so here inside the callback of the relations we just grab the many function okay and here after the profile we can say that a user also has the post okay and then set it to many function that we just grabbed from the callback okay and then we are going to pass the name of the other side table which is the posts table okay so that's it so now the user has a many relation with the post table so now we are going to create the relations for the post table so here after the post table i'm going to say export const post relations okay and set it to relations function then here we should specify these relations belong to which table. So I'm going to say that these are the post relations. Okay, so put the name of our table, which is the posts. And then here we should create our callback. Okay, it returns a object. So I put a parenthesis here and then a query braces, which defines the relations inside it. Okay, and from our callback, I just grab the one function because each post can only have one author. So I grab the one function. Okay, so now here I'm going to say a post has a author. Okay, so I'm going to put the author here. These names are up to you. 
and you can choose another name for it and now we set this author to the one function okay and then we should put the other side table which is users so each post has one author that is actually a user and then we should specify the fields just like the way we have defined the one-to-one -one relationships in the previous section okay so we set the fields to a list and inside the list we put the post that author id okay and then we need to specify this author id references on which field of the user so i'm going to put the references property here and set it to a list and inside that list we are actually saying that this posts that author id will point to the users that id so the post that author id which is our foreign key inside the post table will point to the primary key of the users table user dot id so that's it and let's run a migration so i open up our terminal and create a new terminal here i'm going to run the script that we have created in previous sections in the package that json file which is npm run migrate okay and as you can see it creates the post table with three column with zero foreign key so it doesn't create the foreign key for us so now we should create the foreign key inside the post table explicitly so here first we chain the not null function okay and then chain the references function put a callback inside it which points to the users dot id okay so let's save this and let's run the migration again and now as you can see it creates a one foreign key for the post table so now we need to populate the post table with some test data in order to be able to run a query on the users and post table and see the results so i pass the video again and run the seeding process to insert some dummy data into the post table okay so i seeded the database with some test data and again i want to mention that in the upcoming sections i will teach you how you can do that automatically so you don't have to manually insert your testing data into your database as you can see we have three tables here a user so let's select the user you can see we have 10 user here and then we have the post table so as you can see we have a bunch of a dummy post here and each post belongs to one user so as you can see the post one belongs to user with the idea one post two also belongs to user one and three also belongs to user one and post four belongs to user two five and six also belongs to the post number two and so on so as you can see i have inserted three posts for each user so now let's go to our vs code here and let's go to our route.ts file our api endpoint so now we can specify the posts here and set it to true okay so now let's go to the insomnia client and run this api to run this query and see the result okay so now let's make sure that our server is running okay so let's go to the insomnia and send a get request to the api slash user okay so let's click on the send and as you can see it fetches the first user with the idea one okay it has a profile inside it and also it has a post member which is a list actually and contains the post of the user so this is the first post of the user it's the second post of the user and this is the third post of the user and inside each post you can see that the author id is set to one which means that this post belongs to user with the id one so now let's go back to our insomnia let's write our query in another way let's comment this okay so now let's say we want to fetch the first post along with its author so here i'm going to say const result equals to await okay db dot query dot post dot find first actually we want the first post inside our post table and then here specify an object we pass the with api here and inside the with api we have the author and we're going to set it to true okay so let's run the query again it will fetch the first post and here as you can see the author id of the post is one and also we have the author object inside it which is actually the user with the idea 
one its id is set to one it has a full name phone address and score so yeah in this way we can create a one-to-many relationship between two tables with drizzle rm and then run a relational query for each side of this type of relationship so yeah i think that's it for this section and in the next video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a many to many relationship with Drizzle RM. Have a nice time and stay tuned for my next video. Bye bye.